Uh, well, my name's uh, Eddie Bocanegra. I'm a violence interrupter for ceasefire, and I grew up in Little Village, same area that I'm actually working in. A lot of the programs that I actually volunteer at, or some of the programs that I go on behalf of Ceasefire, I talk to some of the youth. You know, I always put up a number. I put 5,200, 5,200. And they're wondering and they're asking around, like, wow, what's up with this number? And I always tell them, that's how many days I did locked up. I did 14 years, three months. I mean, as a kid, you know, uh, it was kind of like a party. You would hear neighbors coming out and they'll be just talking. Uh, the kids would be running around playing, you know, typical games, high school seat, you know, green light, red light, and just things that typically you would see in, in urban communities. Uh, the only difference, though, is that, you know, you, I would see a lot, of the, a lot of the guys that were involved in activities that probably, you know, would have led them to prison. Well, I was about 14 already when I started getting involved. These are the kids that I was growing up playing basketball, playing baseball with, and I was, you know, kind of 13, 14, jumping on the train, going to see the game. You know, this is, these are my friends. These same friends, though, you know, it's like, uh, well, if you do this, I'll do it. And if I do it, you do it. We, we didn't foresee all the actual problems, all the issues that we were actually getting ourselves into. Well, once I was in prison and I started educating myself, I, you know, shortly after I got my GED, and a few months later, I ended up taking some college courses. And it wasn't until I actually took uh, sociology that I was like, wow, the room just got bright. I actually realized a lot of the social issues and the injustices that were actually uh, plaguing my community. I did this painting about a year before I came home. And really what it depicts is uh, obviously a self-portrait of myself. I might have exaggerated just a little bit, but um, it's just me in the suit, you know, symbolizing success. Uh, the city of Chicago, the line behind me, just pride. Being proud of, you know, have overcome all the challenges and adversities that, I've, that I did. So I don't want to say, and, and, you know, I've kept a journal for many years while I was in prison. And it's, and I don't know how to express this. But I, 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 there's a deep, I feel a deep seated guilt for what I've done in my life. And I felt that I've taken so much, you know, from my community, I've taken someone's life. That's like, wow, who am I to take someone's life? You know, I robbed my brothers and sisters from, from not being able to be there, supportive, to guide them. I know. As I was growing up, I always wished I had an older brother. So, <clears throat> you know, I owe, I owe it to the victim of my case. You know, what I did was as a result of, of having a friend shot, was as a result of not being able to process this anger. And it was also as a result of what I thought was normal behavior. And with ceasefire, I'm giving the, that opportunity to actually make a difference, to maybe reach out to individuals such as myself, just, you know, obviously, um, just to reach out to individuals who at one time, or who are living the way I was living at one time.